Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Bakumatsu Rock Ultra Soul. You're gonna have to forgive me for this because the menus in this game just love to fuck with me. I'll have to explain this. I'm on a Japanese Vita, which already does some weird shit with the button assignment. Like, there are some games that are just weird because they swap the X and O buttons at random. Like, for example, Hotline Miami will swap the X and O buttons just because I'm on a Japanese Vita and I have to press circle when I have when the on screen says press X. This game is the equivalent of a Hotline Miami in Japan because you use the menus using X and back out using the circle button. When in every other Japanese game is the other way around and I have not gotten used to it. I'm still probably not going to get used to it. But anyway, let's go have a look around, shall we? Go to our options, you can change the default difficulty the game selects even though at the beginning of every song you can pick what difficulty you like anyway. You can come here to change some of the button configuration, but it's some fairly self-explanatory stuff. This, uh, this is actually only for the story sections of the game, you don't actually change the controls for the rhythm section. So, you've also got your text options, and yeah, as you can see there, I'm still not used to this. This annoys me to no end. You got your text options, which are just speed, and yeah, I won't even bother with that. And your sound options, and your save load, delete, save data options. So you got a couple of things here. You got the live option, which is basically just go pick, play whatever song you like, song, song select, whatever. Story mode, which obvious, I'll be showing some of that. Uh, gallery, which shows you things like backgrounds and yeah, backgrounds and music and. Yeah, there's also skits, kind of like in How Tales does it, where there's just standalone things where the characters talk to each other, which is a, you know, you get, you know what that is. That's pretty easy to understand. And you can also get a chapter, which lets you skip to a specific part of the story, but we won't bother with that. We're just gonna load wherever the bloody hell I, wherever the bloody hell I am in the story right now. Admittedly, I haven't been playing this for very long, but frankly, you don't really need to. It's a very simple game. So the story mode is pretty simple, it's just caricatures of these characters talking back and forth over the course of the game. Yeah, for some reason it swaps back to you and you go to circle to move forward there and actually hides the dialogue. But yeah, you just, you just spend a lot of time listening to them talk really. Again, considering I know absolutely no Japanese, and I usually translate any Japanese I really need to know off the screen, I have not been translating any of this. So, it's just long stretches of text that I can't understand. And here's the... Here's the thing, these sections can go for bloody ages, you have no idea. They... Some of these sections can go for like 10 minutes, but... Yeah, I've actually just been... They actually just put me in a mid-chapter break, or a second chapter break, or something along those lines. Anyway, we'll just move along to the next and save the data, because why not? And we'll just let it skip through again. So, there's not really that much else to the game at this, at, at this rate, anyway, because... All it really is is coming through here and just waiting for the text to go by. There's also tiny little bits where you can... Make a decision that increases your fan count. I have no idea what the fans are. I think it's just an overall score counter. And I think it also might affect the ending you get. There are a bunch of different side stories in this game. I imagine they don't have so different endings. It's just like a connected, connected novel or something. I haven't tried them, but... Admittedly, after playing this, I don't really want to. It just seems like a waste of time, but... Yeah, I imagine just whatever decisions you make along the way change the ending you get, which is fairly reasonable, and... There's also that fan mechanic, which is required in order to get the Platinum Trophy. You have to get a specific amount of fans, but you get like 99.9% .9 of your fans from getting high scores on, on songs. Here we go. Here's an example of a choice. So I picked the number two choice, so I get like 20,000 fans from that or something. Don't even get how that would work in the context of the story, but then again, I don't even know the story, so what am I complaining about? But yeah. 99.9% .9 of your fans come from the high scores of every song that you play because the high score of every song that you play gets added to the fan counter so you get more fans as time goes on and the tr and you get trophies for getting to like 3 million, 7 million fans, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But yeah. All the trophies in this game are get A rank on all the songs, get all the story endings and get 7 million fans or something along those lines. That's it. Those are literally the only trophies you get. So really... You just skip through the end of the story, hopefully pick the right ones to get to the right end, 
the, the right choices to get to the right endings. And then... You just play all the songs until you get good enough at them. And I've actually got problems with the rhythm game stuff myself. But I'll tell you about that once I get to it. Because again, these story sections can go for ages. I've put this down and go on and watch a 10 minute YouTube video. And... Outside of having to make one or two choices along the way, these sections can go for about 10 minutes. It's kind of ridiculous. The voice acting is alright, but it's just a bit boring to listen to after a while, especially since like nearly every line is voice acted, and you have to listen to it all the way through. There is an automatic mode, but I mean, Jesus Christ. These story sections are so long, it's kind of ridiculous. See, look, there's another choice. I don't even know what choices that look like. Those, those all look exactly the same. I swear to god, those all looked exactly the same to me. I mean, I can't read Japanese, so it probably sounds like I'm being racist, but seriously, I couldn't tell the difference between those three choices at all. Oh, please, please, please let this be a song. No. No. So much story stuff. Can I, can I, like, just skip this part of the... Please tell me that's... Oh, thank god that was actually a skip. Wrong button. Remember, circle the leaf. Wrong button again. Okay, come on, song, please. This is... Yeah, this is incredible. Imagine playing any other game with, with this much story, it's insane. Oh, wait. Oh god, it's been restarting the chapter, okay. Screw this, you know what the story mode's like. Now, how the hell do I get back to the... Bollocks? How the hell do I get back to the main menu? Is it square here? Yes, thank god. So I'm just going to go into live and play a couple of songs from that because I'm not waiting for a song to show up in the story. So I've played a couple of songs, but let's go and play a couple more. So yeah, now I pressed X to select that song there. And now it's going to drop me onto the difficulty select screen. I'm going to press... and you have to press circle here. Otherwise it'll take you back to the main menu. Or you can also press start, or whatever. Alright, so finally, rhythm game! So, this game's very simple. You've got that line down the bottom and symbols come towards it. You press the symbols at the right time, and you get points. Your shout level levels up, the more notes you hit. And once your shout level gets to max, you earn like extra points as part of a score streak or something. And you also get a very fan service risque portrait of whatever character is doing the singing at the time, which is... Well, this game wasn't exactly built for the men, it was built for the ladies. But if I'm not, like, terrible at this, we'll see that in a minute. The music isn't actually that bad, but... My main problem is with this gameplay system here now. Feel free to put this down to me sucking, but I think this play field is entirely too wide. Yeah, there's the fan service that I was telling you about right there. And you are not going to see that while you're trying to hit all these goddamn nodes. But yeah, anyway, my main problem with this play field is that it's too goddamn wide, and your eyes have to swing back and forth between the left and right side of the screen all the bloody time. If they made this like half the width of the screen, or maybe made it so that it's more like vertical instead of horizontal, like the horizontal side of the Vita, maybe this would work a ton better, but jeez, it's just... You can't play this rhythm section of the game for too long, because it hurts your eyes. Or at least it hurts mine, because I have to swing my eyes back and forth between the edges of the screen in order to get this done, and jeez, it's just... It just gets painful after a while. Also, the songs are surprisingly short. Yes, yeah, so yeah, my fan count has grown, and it will probably grow higher as I play through a couple more songs for you all. Yeah, 
Anytime now, please. I don't think anyone can trash your hair, mate. I'm pretty sure that's just frozen in time. Whoops, I missed that. But yeah, as you can see, I just have some massive trouble keeping up with all the notes on screen. I tried playing the fourth difficulty, which is Ultra Soul, and I could not handle it just because my eyes were going back and forth so fast trying to keep an eye on everything that I ended up just missing more notes than I hit because I was just trying to focus on every note at once and it was just overwhelming. Now that was a problem right there. You can see that shit? It puts notes all over the goddamn screen. I can see this working on a big screen alright because you'd have your eyes focusing on the entire screen instead of just having such a close focus, but jeez, it's just, it's just a problem that this game has. It would be nice to be able to make the play field thinner so I didn't have to worry about my eyes being stretched so far over the course of a, of a song. Seriously, it's hard to play more than a couple of songs on this without my eyes getting tired. But yeah, the music isn't that bad, but... I can't really understand it. I can't imagine this ever getting localized, to tell you the truth, because this has been out for a while now, and if there was anyone who'd be likely to localize Bakamatsu Rock Ultra Soul, it would probably be X-Seed, because this is published by Marvelous, the people who own X-Seed, so if anybody was likely to publish it, it would be them, and it would be X-Seed, and X-Seed doesn't seem to have any interest in the project, and considering they just announced their... Yeah, you're, you're probably seeing this, like, way after I record it, but considering they just announced... Uh... The, what, what is it again? Considering... Wrong button. They just announced, like... Well, not just announced, but they just announced, like, the... They just bought the domains for... Uh, Corpse Party Blood Drive, tra Trails of Cold Steel, and whatever its bloody name was, um, uh, Tokyo Xanadu, or whatever it is. They have, probably have absolutely no plans for this. The only way I could see this game working is a reasonable buy is like a $10 digital download, because it's kind of hard to play. I just, I don't find myself enjoying this very much at all because of how fast I have to look across the play field. Seriously, look at this. Just how fast it can go, good lord. I mean, if, if this was available in English as a $10 digital download, I might say it would be worth a try for at least rhythm game fans who are looking for something a little different, but... I mean, geez, this really can't come as a recommendation as a Japanese import. The songs are short, the gameplay is a bit more difficult than it should be. It hurts my eyes. And it's just overly wordy for someone who doesn't really know Japanese to understand. So you'll just be skipping, like, huge chunks of text and voice acting for, like, ten minutes just to get to one song. It's not great. It really is. And not for full-price import, and probably not even for, even for PlayStation Vita the best import if it ever gets on that range. There is some satisfaction in getting a perfect on a song and getting every single note right, because it does bring up this tiny little perfect window to say, congratulations you bastard, you managed to do what we didn't want you to do in the first place. But nevertheless, it's just, it's just a little bit too frustrating for my personal taste. And the thing is, this is a difficulty two. Difficulty three and four just make it impossible.
That's gotta be the longest night off the boat in this game yet, good lord. Also, yeah, that background can definitely get distracting when you're trying to look for the notes. Good. Man. So yeah, I just passed a million fans. I think I've got a trophy for that, but I don't have trophy pop-ups, because those, those tend to annoy people in my videos. But anyway, that was a look at Bakamatsu Rock Ultra Soul. It's not that good. Don't import it. I mean, it's got some redeeming merit, but I imagine someone who understands Japanese and can deal with a bit of the ya yaoi, I think it's called, fanboyism stuff that's included in this game, would probably enjoy it a lot more than just your typical... American or European who's looking for easy Japanese imports. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.